My name is Chief Orville Looking Horse, and I'd like to do a prayer in my language first. Mungashla wa kantaka ampetu kile la washte na laka. Nacho ate makaka neche, wana wuchi ki kaka. Nunca nacho makaka le eche waka. Naha uchakpi waka naha ampetu kile na lawashte. Oyate. Ukoyapina, uh, listening, and I want to uh, start by saying that I am the 19th generation keeper of sacred pipe. And I've been a sacred bundle keeper since I was 12 years old. So today is a great message to, to the world of a uh, fulfilling our prophecy about the white buffalo calf with black nose, black eyes, black hooves. And it's, uh, we are at the crossroads. We uh, are faced with global disasters, tears from our relatives' eyes. We are at the crossroads. It's a warning but it's a blessing, a warning because the direction that we are not going is uh, not good. And we're going to see uh, the, the environment changing fast, like uh, earthquakes, volcanoes, big winds. We're going to see a lot of uh, false leaders and false prophets at this time. We're going to see great changes if we don't uh, change back to what it should be, a blessing. The blessing is for each and every one of you to uh, help us at this time when the white buffalo calf is born at Yellowstone. And the first one was at Janesville, Wisconsin, 1994. And uh, we thought that was a very powerful message, 1994, because we had a lot of media, and it was like a needle in a haystack. 1994, the prophecy was what I... Uh, read you that we are at the crossroads. And then from that time till today, the second uh, sign that Mother Earth gave us is uh, this buffalo calf with black nose, black eyes, and black hooves being born at, in our generation at this time. And I now we do our ceremonies in our territories, and we always kept the that the stories and everything in our ceremonies the way we protect our ceremonies. But this is uh the sign is um uh, right now it's a. Uh, it's a great uh, message to the world because <clears throat> today Mother Earth is sick and has a fever. That Mother Earth needs us and she can live without us. And uh, no, we have a lot of uh, renowned leaders in the past that um a lot of the leaders that were spiritual leaders that were recognized and, and we got spiritual leaders that are not recognized. 
yet they hold that prophecy were ancient. And those teachings uh, came uh, to me as a sacred bundle keeper, the keeper of sacred pipe when I was 12 years old, the, the spiritual laws, the supernatural that comes with our ceremonies. And we kept everything intact. Uh, of course, our ways were outlawed until 1978, the Freedom of Religion Act. But that kind of opened that door for our people to go outside the reservations and go back to our sacred sites. What we've been doing is like, uh, especially since Standing Rock, you now we've been really uh, standing up uh, and doing a lot of work with sacred sites. In our ceremonies, the sacred sites are that God given, the Great Spirit gave us these uh, sacred sites where there's pictographs. According to our uh, teaching is that we follow the stars, the sun, and the star nation, we, we, we say, the star knowledge. And today we still go by the, those teachings. And this year, the, everything now points towards uh, Pipestone, Minnesota. So when we are getting ready to uh, go Pipestone, Minnesota, you know, we prepare, prepare for the whole year. We have the runners and horseback riders and you know, about a month before. And, you know, in our ceremonies, they, they, they told us that the thunder beings would welcome us. And we got two pipes on the blood of our people because we ran that back in the 80s to protect our pipestone to be uh, the blood of our people to be uh, to stop the quarries from making uh, shot glasses, earrings, and bookends. The we need to protect the the red pipes and quarries, and it's about life here. Our ceremonies is all about life. So we you know through our uh, ceremonies, we bring the thunder beings back. Through the ceremonies, we need the buffalo and the horses in those places. Because there's we use them in our ceremonies. And Back in the 80s, uh, Virgil Kill Street had a dream. He would bring the uh, horses and the buffalo back. It's called Mending the Sacred Hoop. And uh, they gave me the, the they called Obagi or Pipe, for me to be the spiritual leader. So I was a spiritual leader on that Bigfoot ride. We did that ceremony at Wounded Knee because it's supposed to be 100 years time from 18. 1990, the Wendy Knee Massacre, 1990, we're supposed to unite our people in prayer and bring the buffalo and the horses back. So we did that. And we tried our best to uh, bring the balance of nature back in place by honoring, doing, doing horse ceremonies and buffalo ceremonies. And then, uh, but time is uh, really uh, changing fast. And it, I heard about the white buffalo story when I was 12 years old. And they told me about the prophecy of the white buffalo. Someday the white buffalo cat, calf is going to stand upon the earth when uh, nothing is good, when everything is sickly. So the the first uh, 
calf that was born at the uh, what some people say well it's off the reservation and uh, it's at a farm but still uh, it is a white buffalo was born with uh, black nose black eyes black hooves so we did our ceremony so we went there and anyway it was like a needle in a haystack that and I couldn't believe uh, that uh, this white buffalo calf was born either but what happened was like the same year, the uh, scientists uh, came up with a statement called global warming. And, and here, that's that. And then from our ceremonies, you know, we have the prophecy of the white buffalo. So, you know, this is a, a message for the world and we, that's how we put it. We set the message to, out to the world. And that from that time till today, another one was born at Yellowstone. And I was so um, uh, overwhelmed, man. I, I just don't know that the, this is way above us. That's what I said. No? The spirit is, Mother Earth is calling, you know, uh, or bring that message out all through the white animals and that completes or uh, uh, fulfills our prophecy of the uh, white buffalo calf woman story that someday I shall stand upon the earth once again when mother earth is sick and has a fever so that is happening right now as uh, we speak that mother earth has a, uh, is sick and has a fever and it's our responsibility to uh, take care of her. So that's what uh, the message is. So in my statement, I, I, I did say that no, Mother Earth is a source of life, not a resource. Because, you know, she needs us, we need her. You know, Mother Earth dies, we die. You know, that's what the elders always say. So, or, you know, right now, it, the message is great, and it's a blessing for us to do something. And and but it's a warning too, you know. And but we want to stay in prayer with the positive people healing, uh, and each and every one of you finding peace within your hearts and peace throughout the world at this time. And so these are signs, spiritual signs for us that we cannot walk away from but because, because it came from ceremony. And that's what, uh, when I was, so everything, uh, when, since I was uh, in my life, like uh, being a sacred bundle keeper, 1970s, uh, uh, when we finally got electricity and water, you know, I had a dream about that black and white TV where this person beside me touched that screen or pointed to the screen and opened up like a book. And they closed, and they opened it up oh, like a book. People were standing in a circle, and they closed. It was turning like this, and then this person touched another part of the earth, and it opened up like a book, and people, different people were standing there in a fire in the middle. And I told my father, you know, that had to happen like to me seven times in my dream. And I told my father the next day, he said, you got to put it through ceremony and pray about it. You can't make it happen. No, it's going to happen on, on, on its own. So that was uh, when 1994, the first white buffalo was born. Now we took it to ceremony and said, we need to go back to our spiritual places and pray. And that's, that's how World Peace and Prayer Day started in 1996. All nations, all faiths, one prayer. 1996, uh, the first white buffalo was born, and our message is uh, uniting all nations to pray for peace and harmony, because that's what the the bundle I take care of, a spirit bundle, but it's about peace and harmony. That uh, I know that uh, there's many uh, other people their prophecies are coming true. It talks about the peace and harmony too, because I met 
there was a lot of good people out there, leaders. Uh, and now we all have the same prophecies. So right now, the the white buffalo being born is is, is just uh, is is just I'm happy, but I, I'm I'm sad now. My heart is heavy because no, we still have a lot of work with us for us to uh, protect the earth and be healthy. Because you know, I grew up uh, being a bundle keeper, and I, I stayed in our traditional ceremony all my life, and we're we're pretty strict with our ceremonies. <laughs> but uh, seventy eight, uh, you know. A lot of people start talk mis and abusing our ceremonies, and we need to protect our ceremonies. So that's what we're doing today. Is uh, you know, we got to be really respectful because our original teachings are very respectful, and there's no no the way things are today. You no, know, like our tradition is uh, you no, know, we have to uh. Unite as a buffalo, that Khatranka Oyate. So the spirit woman that brought the sacred pipe said, You are the buffalo people. And so we do all of our ceremonies uh, and the spiritual laws that came with that sacred pipe. Now we need to still protect, and, but the message is uh, beautiful, it's out there. And I, I hope and pray that you know, people all over the world can. Hear the message, how beautiful it is. How the Great Spirit gave us a beautiful uh, earth mother, and we need to take care of her. Like that. Yeah, so I want to say you now that uh, Mother Earth is a source of life, not a resource. That we need to respect each other and Make uh make that change you now for the future of our children. That's it. I hope. Wash day. Thank you.